Hello, this is Crystal Marshall from MarshallStudioPhotography.com and today we're going to do a magical Christmas edit. So here is my after image and here is my before image. We are going to open up Photoshop. I already have some magical particle rays here, a free um, download, and this is also some star magical galaxy particles. So I'm going to first copy and paste this file by control C, control copy, or if you're on a Mac, it's command instead of control. Drag it over the top. I'm going to show you on the layers panel right here. Make sure you do it to linear dodge. You can also do it on screen as well. I've seen that. You're going to take your eraser tool and make sure your brush is nice and fluffy and big. A little bit bigger. It's on 59%. And we're going to um, just erase a little bit of that, just so that it's nice and smooth. It's not over their faces. Good. It's looking good so far. Make sure we're erasing around the book so that it's nice and smooth around the book. Good. It's looking very good so far. Okay. So let's do some more magic. Let's do this galaxy. Control A, Control C. Let's paste it over the front. I don't know why that message is there. Again, let's drag it over the whole image. Maybe rotate it a bit so that it's coming out of the book. Enter. And again, let's see what screen looks like. And about the same. Okay, so now we're going to lower the opacity down, erase around the face, and just overall do some erasing just so it looks randomized. All right, looking good so far. We are going to duplicate this layer and play around with the actual coloring of the layer. You're going to go to edit, uh, image adjustments curves I'm gonna put a very uh, slight film edge in here I'm just gonna be playing around with this a bit just so that I have a little bit dark I like it a little bit more mysterious okay that's looking good um, now I am going to create a new layer right here on the layers panel make a new layer now I want to get out all the distracting elements right here on the ground so I'm going to take my paintbrush and take my eyedropper tool and very very softly with a big soft brush I'm just going to make sure my opacity there you go I am going to very gently paint black in the foreground so it just kind of makes my kids stick out a little bit more already we're looking really good that is how you do a Christmas magic photo but I will have to tell you some of the secret behind this photo is I had them open a book then I had my husband's phone right here with the flashlight on so they were actually looking at the book with the flashlight in their lap shining on their faces so that's how we get the illuminated look right there so that is a trick of the trade without the flashlight the photo would look like this that's how the photo would look i was trying to get my husband my uh, my son to do the same look but because he wasn't he didn't have the flashlight right here in the book it just didn't give the same feeling as all of these so there you go make sure you have a flashlight in the book before you do the photo all right here we go thank you so much for watching and we will see you later